How to survive a mudslide. Mudslides, also called debris flows, can be destructive and deadly natural disasters. If your area is at risk, reviewing safety procedures and coming up with a survival plan can help you feel more secure and even save your life. Evacuating safely. Monitor the news and evacuate when recommended. If your area has been recently hit by a fire and heavy rain is predicted, start watching the news a day or two before the storm is predicted. Listen for evacuation orders, which should be broadcast as soon as they're put in place. You should plan to leave even when evacuation is voluntary. Voluntary evacuation can quickly become mandatory, and leaving earlier will give you more time to prepare and safer roads to drive on. You can evacuate to a friend or close family member's home, or a hotel if you can afford it. If money is tight, head to an evacuation center, which could be at a sports stadium or local school. If you have pets, make sure you can bring them along to your destination. Most evacuation centers will allow them, and hotels often make exceptions to pet policies in emergency situations. If you choose not to evacuate, or if a mudslide was not predicted or expected, it's essential that you're able to identify mudslide warning signs. Read on to know what to look for and how to ride out the mudslide. You can evacuate to a friend or close family member's home, or a hotel if you can afford it. If money is tight, head to an evacuation center, which could be at a sports stadium or local school. If you have pets, make sure you can bring them along to your destination. Most evacuation centers will allow them, and hotels often make exceptions to pet policies in emergency situations. If you choose not to evacuate, or if a mudslide was not predicted or expected, it's essential that you're able to identify mudslide warning signs. Read on to know what to look for and how to ride out the mudslide. Drive away from the mudslide if you have time. When you see warning signs of a mudslide or hear of them on the news, begin evacuating. Listen carefully to reports so you can avoid driving through other areas at risk. Drive carefully and avoid flooded roads, which may occur if the mudslides are caused by heavy rain. If you see a flooded street, turn around and find an alternate route. Never drive through water of an unknown depth. Even 6 inches 15 centimeters of water can cause cars to stall. 1 foot 30 centimeters will make most cars float, while 2 feet 61 centimeters moving water can carry away even large cars. Look out for and avoid downed power lines. If you have time, warn neighbors of the danger. If the mudslide is not yet in the news, call your fire or police department. Run sideways away from the mudslide if you're outside. If the mudslide is imminent or the roads are too damaged to drive, you may still be able to escape by foot. Run away from the mudslide at a right angle, as quickly as is safely possible. Don't try to run towards the mudslide or downhill from it you likely won't be able to outrun it. Some mudslides can be over a mile wide. If you don't know how wide a mudslide is and can't see the end of it, or if you simply have no warning signs, stay indoors and prepare as much as you can. Some mudslides can be over a mile wide. If you don't know how wide a mudslide is and can't see the end of it, or if you simply have no warning signs, stay indoors and prepare as much as you can. Follow your family's emergency plan if you have one. Stay calm and gather your family together. Remind them of the emergency plan and make sure each person understands what they have to do. Ask them to complete their tasks as quickly as possible and meet back in a specific, safe location before you leave. If you don't have an emergency plan, don't worry. Gather a few important possessions, like insurance forms, family photos, clothes, underwear, food, and water. Keep your family together and leave quickly. Stay away until the threat of mudslides has passed if you've evacuated. If you've evacuated from your home due to a mudslide, don't return until you've been notified by the authorities that it's safe to do so. Watch the news and stay alert to changing conditions. Mudslides or floods might still be actively occurring even after the rain has stopped. 